A Mid-South baby born with half a heart gets a second chance at life. WREG's Bria Jones joins us live from the Bonner Children's Hospital where this life-saving surgery took place. Bria? Well, Stephanie, after months of waiting, little Jamia received her new heart just two weeks shy of her first birthday. Tonight, her mother and health care providers are thankful for the blessing. Oh, look who's doing better. In true superstar fashion, 11-month-old Jamia McFarland awoke from having a heart transplant with a microphone in hand. Her mother, Laverne Webb, who also has two young boys, says she learned Jamia would be born with half a heart while she was still in the womb. I was scared when I first found out because... I thought that she wasn't going to make it when I had her. After nearly six months on the transplant list, Jamia received the gift of a lifetime from a donor just weeks before her first birthday. I'm happy that she gets a chance to live a normal life. It's exciting because it's like a birthday present to her. It might still be in the hospital, but this baby gets to celebrate her first birthday. And there are... are Unfortunately, lots of children who didn't get to do that. Jenny Strelson is a nurse practitioner with the Pediatric Heart Failure and Transplant Department at Le Bonner Children's Hospital. She says about one in 4,000 babies in the U.S. are born with a single ventricle instead of two, like Jamia. The condition is often referred to as having half a heart. How does being born with half a heart impact a child. When you have a baby that's born with congenital heart disease, you're now expecting one ventricle to do the work of two ventricles or two pumping chambers. Um, and so we often see that fail. With Jamia already undergoing several surgeries, she says the transplant came right on time. Ultimately, she would have died on the wait list. With many milestones and a lifetime of medical visits ahead, her mother is praising the hospital for their care. I really appreciate the nurses and doctors here for taking care of her and they have us all spoiled here. Jamia's first birthday party will be here at Le Bonner on Saturday. Now, as medical expenses add up, Jamia's family, who is from Blyville, has started a GoFundMe page to help with the recovery. If you'd like to help, you can find the link on our website, WREG.com. For now, reporting live in the Medical District, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3.